This is a drawing showing the boiler bracket details. This is the bracket at the firebox end, and this is the bracket that attaches to the boiler barrel. This drawing shows the model having only one bracket component. However, when you take a look at the full size locomotive, it has a horizontal component. Therefore I'm going to uh, model these brackets based on the full size locomotive and include the horizontal component. I've already made the brackets for the firebox end, so this video is going to focus on making the brackets to attach to the boiler barrel. I've laid out a sketch uh, showing the position of the brackets, so this is the boiler barrel. This less steep angle here is the bracket that fits the rear of the boiler, which we've already done. So what we're doing today is this bracket here that fits on the boiler barrel. So we have a bracket coming down to here and then extending along to here. So this becomes our, our bracket. Okay, so I've drawn some lines more or less tangent to where the brackets will sit. So that's just under 40 degrees, we'll make the bracket to that angle and then we'll eyeball it on the job and make any final adjustments. I won't bore you with any CNC footage, however I initially cut out the brackets on the CNC mill. This is them after milling and spot drilling. I completed the drilling on the drilling machine. To do the bending of the brackets I'm just using a couple of bits of angle in the vise and one has a radius to put a radius on the bend. Okay, so I just draw a line on more or less where I want the bend as a guide. Put it in the vise. Check for squareness. I want the bend actually on the corner here, so I'll just use a piece of aluminium, give it a bash. See what it looks like. Right, we're ready to go. Okay, try that. Looks like a nice bend. The bottom portion of the bracket's looking a good fit. Now we can set the angle gauge to the upper portion of the bracket. So we'll see what the top portion of the bracket looks like. So I've got a centre line on here, more or less we want the two holes, the two top holes to be on the centre line. Which is about there. So it's not far off. But we need to put a chamfer on here. 
before we do anything more, make any adjustments just to get a better idea. <coughs> And it looks about right it just needs to come down a bit now so I think I just need to take about a milli off the length of this okay check it again yeah I think it still wants to be a bit shorter try again Yeah, I would say that's about it. I think we just need to make that angle there a bit steeper. Just slightly. Okay, that looks perfect. I need to clamp those two together now, so I need to make a couple of plates. So that's ready for silver soldering. You can't see it here, but I've placed a piece of silver solder at the back of the joint, along with some flux. So when I heat the front of the joint, it should draw the silver solder through. The rear boiler support packets which I made earlier are just bolted on to the boiler whereas the brackets we're busy with are uh, riveted to the boiler barrel. So I'm just going to put one rivet in the top portion of the bracket and one in the lower portion of the, of the bracket through into the boiler to locate the bracket in the right place for silver soldering. The other rivet heads will just be dummies. So I've got it set up um, in the right position. Got the boiler clamped to the local frame. Got this set in exactly the right place. And I'm just going to mark it with a drill. So I'll use the center rivet as the one I'm going to use to locate. Okay, that should be good enough to show the position. Turn it round carefully. Just check that it's right. Looks good. Okay, the top of the bracket's been drilled and the rivet put in place. Got it all clamped up to the frame as a reference. So we can turn the frame over and drill the underside lower portion of the bracket. Thanks for watching.